welcome back today now let us learn all about trees i can name 50 trees today the cat and the hat knows a lot about that okay by bonnie worth illustrated by arish chaitruis and jo madhav let's start let's get started i am the cat in the hat and i want you to please take a few moments to look at the trees if you pay close attention you might get to exclaim there are 50 trees i bet i can a tree is a plant with a stem made of wood do you know what a stem is a trunk very good some trees grow to 10 or 20 feet high some grow okay some grow till their tops scrape the clouds in the sky this is jewel's walking stick flowering dogwood bald cypress pecan 98 feet a cypress in mexico that we have found has a trunk more than 117 feet round this bald cypress a tree in australia the land that's down under stands 492 feet tall oh my what a wonder eucalyptus the branches grow upward the roots they go they grow down the branches and leaves or what we call the crown this is american holly some crowns are like cones like this cute little fella sugar maple okay some crowns match the shape of my nifty umbrella this is american elm weeping willow some like this willow droop down to the ground some like this apple tree or nearly round i would say this white oak is as wide as its chair uh, as its tall sorry okay as wide as its tall while this pine doesn't have low branches or tall this is red pine let us move ahead uh, look at uh, let's look at the roots okay we will speak of them first they hold the tree up and they help quench its thirst this is your yeah, japanese maple they draw water the roots i mean they draw water up and science has found they even draw minerals out of the ground this is wild fig tree this is oil rig nearly 400 feet deep grow the roots of this fig that's almost as deep as this as this oil drilling rig the trunk okay and the branches the leaves okay and the shoots bring water and minerals up from the roots the leaves then pull off one tree mendus feet Okay, tremendous! It is here tree man. The feet, they whip up the food that the tree needs to eat. This is Siberian elm. See here, this is shoots, this is branches, this is leaves. Okay, trunk from the roots. Okay, now they mix water up with rays from the sun. add carbon dioxide and when the leaves are done it gives off the oxygen we need to survive it's a gift from the trees that keeps us alive 
Albizia falcata. Okay, is this tree? This is Atlantic white cedar. Okay, here's a fast grower. Okay, this will surely amaze ya. Over one inch each day, this tree grows in Malaysia. While way up in Canada, a four inch slow poke is of 155. I tell you, no joke. Some leaves are so simple. One leaf to each stem. While others have leaflets on them. This is simple leaves. This have leaflets. Prickly ash. Asian red bud. Okay. Some leaves grow on stems. In these neat little pairs. Like this in silver maple. This is horse chestnut leaflets okay leaflets for more than one leaf okay this leaflets yes children let us move ahead this is paired leaves pair two right some others you will find grow unpaired upon theirs see they are unpaired separate okay black birch okay World, I mean world. Okay, this is the world leaves grow around a tree's branch in a ring. Some leaves are sharp toothed, others smooth, smooth. That's the thing. Okay, some leaves are sharp toothed. This is smooth. This is sharp. This is smooth. This is toothed leaves. Okay, toothed leaves. Papa. This one is Papa. This is American Beach. This is Northern Cattle Palm. Okay. So, there are different kinds of leaves we are seeing. Smooth. Toothed. Okay. Now, move ahead. Just move ahead. Like our ears, some have lobes. Which means that they are shaped a lot like your hand. Or a mitten. Or a star. Sweet gum. This is sweet gum, yeah. So okay. So hmm? field maple, hmm? this leaf of field maple, black dust for a tree. I mean, sorry, bark dust for a tree. What your skin does for you. Okay, this is your bark. Okay, the skin, like a kind of a thing. Okay, stops the weather, the bugs, and the germs getting through. Okay, this is a redwood tree. The bark of the redwood you have to admire is two whole feet thick and protects it from fire. Okay, bark does for a tree what your skin does for you. The bark of this tree, yeah, is what has made it famous. Shag bark, hickory, hickory is what this shaggy tree's name is. Shag bark, hickory. A neat trick a friend of mine just showed to me is to find out the age of a one's living tree. A new ring is added with each living ear. Let's count up the rings in this chump over here. A year that has rain leaves a ring that is thick. This thin ring means drought or our poor tree was sick. We have counted and we will share our answer with you. It's 67. Okay, it's 67 years old. Did you find that it, this was true? Let us count and see whether it has 67 her rings. Okay, later. Sapwood. This is your sapwood. This is hardwood. This is your bark. Oldest known living tree. This is the oldest known living tree. tree. Yeah. The oldest tree ever. And this one is fine. Might be 4,700 years old. A bristle cone pine. <laughs> bristle cone pine. There are 
all types of trees but of course you knew you, you knew that one has needle shaped leaves or scales that are flat it seeds come in pine cones so let's be exact and say it's a conifer yes that's a fact this is your white pine hemlock spruce large needle leaf trees see these are all needle leaf trees the trees are need needle like okay let's move ahead eastern red cedar juniper sargent cypress arborvitae i mean arborvitae scale leaf trees all these trees is scale leaf the leaves are like scales another type broad leaf you have probably seen in the fall turning colors and losing its green the seeds from these trees come in nuts that are hard or in a soft or dry fruits like in sally's backyard this is black walnut pepper birch this is sweet cherry red maple and then they are palms they grow where it's warm with leaves like a feather or fan like in form okay form so cocodimer okay this is your royal palm the world's largest seed from the cocodimer weighs 50 whole pounds things you better be aware forget not the little tree i mean the lily trees okay lovely to see like this uh, kind of the desert the joshua tree okay this is your joshua tree so yaka if you ever get burned then you had better go get the leaf of the yaka that we call aloe tree fern the tree fern is the oldest and what is more it does not have the seeds instead it has pores the tree fern fares better in much warmer weather the trees rather short with a leaf like a feather this is your spores okay the cycad is old and for what it is worth they were cycads when dinosaurs once roamed the earth south african cycad this one it looks like a palm but a palm it is not how long is its cone 3 feet long that's a lot cone the tree called the zinco i mean zinco uh jink go um we have savored uh, for the last the first one grew 250 million years in the past zingo zink go okay one thing uh, that i think you should know about zink go uh, zink go its fruit doesn't smell good in fact it smells chinko <laughs> um get yourself a blank book to press leave that you find glue them onto the pages your mother won't mind note note the tree's bark and the shape of the crown note the shape of the leaves and then write it all down take a look at this book or get a tree guide match up your leaves to the pictures inside medium size to large tree open spreading crown write down the tree names and learn them by heart this book contains 50 and that's a great start bark gray and smooth becoming blackish thick and rough deeply furrowed ridges 
take on low bud leaves okay and um, yellow green brown shiny green above about the black oak we can write down the tree names and learn them by heart knowing trees names my dear miss and dear mister is like knowing the name of your brother or sister we can't have enough of these wonderful trees oak tree maple tree birch tree so when you see bare spots go plant a tree please glossary drought a time during which no rain falls which is difficult for plants and animals germs tiny living things too small to see with the naked eye that can cause sickness or disease hardwood the innermost part of the trunk of a tree which no longer carries sap lobes curved edges such as on leaf that stick out minerals natural substances found in the ground that plants absorb to help them grow strong and big quench to bring to an end as in to quench a thirst by taking a drink sapwood the soft living part of the trunk of a tree which lies between the inner bark and the hardwood spores tiny grains given off by some plants or trees that make new plants world world okay a uh, spiraling out from a central point thank you thanks for watching have a great day bye bye